Hey, Bill, thanks for coming back here. So you have a demo for us. Um, can you explain that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so in this example that I'm going to show, I'm going to show a couple of things, but it's mainly going to focus in an, on an on-prem type scenario where we've got a copy of an Oracle database in an on-prem Actifio Sky, and we need to mount a copy real quickly for some user business need. What you're seeing here is the Actifio Global Manager. This is our single pane of glass that gives you access to all of the appliances, whether physical or virtual, that you may be running on-prem or in the cloud. I filtered out only Oracle databases. In our case, we're going to be looking at this small DB here that is supported by the copper template. I'll explain templates in another video, but for right now, just know that they're talking about how things are backed up and where things are backed up. So once we click our database that we wanna work with, we click on access, which will bring us to a screen that shows us the snapshots that we have available to us to be able to restore from or mount from. In this case, we have three points in time from the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And this shaded area shows us that we also have logs where if we want to recover or mount from that point, we can actually roll forward in time. Going to select this point, click the mount button, choose which target I want to mount it to, in my case, Oracle 7, give it a label of my choice, give it a user name, and a target database SID. I'm just going to call this small db2, and a known Oracle directory on the target server. There are mapping options and advanced options we'll show in a later video. And then we simply submit our job. Once the job is submitted, we can then move over to the job monitor to see and monitor the process of the job. What we're looking at here now is logged on to the Oracle Demo 7 server where our mount will be occurring. If you see, as I grep for the PMON processes, there are currently no Oracle instances running on this server. In this directory that I'm, that I'm located in here, we have a script that's called watch for mount. And you'll see that currently there are no file systems mounted to this server. In a few minutes, as the mount job completes its tasks, we'll have two mounts that are located here, one for the database files and one for the database log files. What you're looking at here is the Actifio Global Manager. This is our single pane of glass that allows you to see the status of all the jobs that are running or have been run. In this case, we're looking at a specific job for 21137373, which is that small DB that we mounted from Actifio storage into our Oracle 7, or uh, rather Oracle Target 7 server. Uh, this shows you standard information, success, fail, those types of things, uh, what template it was using. So let's jump over here and take a look at the terminal session where we're actually logged into the Oracle 7 pod server. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the uh, PMON sessions, which we can now see here we have Aura PMON small db2, which if you'll remember from our mount uh, status screen, we set the name to small db2. And then there is a watch script that we were looking at earlier, where this will show us that we now have an actively mounted file system. Now, the interesting thing is, is this is not actually on the system. For all intents and purposes, it looks like it is, but this is mounted directly from Actifio storage. So you'll see it's a 50 gig file system and also that the job number correlates with what we were seeing here in the job monitor. So now let's control C out of this and take a look to make sure our environment is set to small db2 for Oracle. It is. Our Oracle home is set. We'll now go into SQL plus, take a look. We're connected, 12.2 uh, version of Oracle, and we're going to run a verified database script, which is a little script that we put out there to make sure that everything looks okay. Now, if we scroll back up here, you'll quickly see that the table spaces are available. There are many different owners with uh, tables that are owned by those said owners. Uh, here's our DB name. Uh, this is a very important thing here that it is open for read write, which means we can not only read from it, but write to it. We can create tables. We can update, we can modify, do basically all of those things. 
and then you, finally you'll see just some standard information about the version and uh, its status. So that pretty much sums up what we've done. So we've taken a, a snapshot in time that was stored in Actifio storage. We've mounted it to a target server that has Oracle 12C pre-installed on it. And that mount took place in about anywhere from say four to six minutes. And then it's a fully available for developers, for business users, for anyone that might want to use it. So that's it. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. That was, that was pretty good. And let me just emphasize something. It really doesn't matter the size of the database uh, in regards to the time it takes to present uh, an instant mount. Is that correct? That is correct. So in this case, this was a 50 gig database. And we also have an example where we show a five terabyte database being mounted and usable in about the same amount of time. Excellent. Well, this is awesome, Bill. Appreciate the time and the guidance, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely, Adrian. Thanks. Have a great day. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye.